we're at home watching from your couch, probably eating potato chips with no friends. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shave, the natural selection. We're in the building tonight just to talk about my highlights from SmackDown, a couple of segments, a couple of shady moments, a couple of scandals, a couple of shenanigans. Y'all already know the routine, period. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on when I upload more content such as this. Tiffy time is in the building, bitch. It's given. I was really gagged and shocked to see Tiffany Stratton kick off the show. The Women's Money in the Bank. I mean, like, I knew she was going to have a nice segment, but I just did not know it was going to give all of this. She looked amazing tonight, okay? The titties was on go. The body was on go, okay? Makeup on, hair done, lay, body snatched. The usual for the girls like Tiffany Stratton. However, I did not know she was going to get in the middle of that ring and still throw shade to Trish. I, I feel like this confirms some things for me, but just in case I could get it wrong, I'm just going to say I would love to see a beef between the two, bitch. Tiffany Stratton and Trish Stratus, bitch. Okay, T-S versus T-S. One capital and one lowercase. Okay, period. You can see the similarities. You can see kind of how Tiffy pays homage. You could kind of see that Trish is kind of loving the back and forth between the two. And I personally think that it could be better than when she returned for Lita and Becky Lynch when they had that whole little thing going on between them. No shade, no tea. Other shocking points in this segment when Nia Jax came out to pretty much have the back of Tiffany Stratton. Like, I know they had been talking, you know, I know Nia Jax and Tiffany had been talking and things, but I didn't think it was kind of, it was going to kind of form like big sister, little sister type of vibes. That's what I'm getting. It kind of mirrors the whole Chelsea and Piper thing, but I think it's just a little bit more spicy with wrestlers like Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. Like, first off, like, they have no Fs given, okay? They have zero fucks given, period. Like, they don't care. Tiffany has a smart mouth, and Nia Jax, she's very, very sarcastic. She got dry humor, and I think they can both handle themselves in the ring. So if this is starting to formulate like a little women's tag team here. I absolutely love it. But the shade within all of this, as Bailey pointed out, let me not forget, bitch, Bailey looked really, really good tonight in her number. Okay, she looked really good. And she actually came out there and stood on business and showed Tiffy Time why it's not really all that easy to win, you know, and be put on a pedestal because at the end of the day, you got real choices and real decisions to make just like what we have here between her and Nia Jax we know that they just became cool but it's giving Nia Jax really don't want Tiffy to cash in and or get the belt because Nia Jax wants the belt but I guess they don't want to have to fight each other but that's probably what is going to fucking happen so I'm so here for this I'm so here for this because that moment where it kind of dawned on all of us. Like, I had, I was, like, kind of still shocked at the fact that Bailey had been taken out. But I'm there, and I'm looking, and it's like, hold on, bitch. Tiffy can actually cash in right now. And then it registers, and then I'm listening to the crowd say it on SmackDown. The audience is saying it in the background. They're telling her to, like, cash in, and she's there, and it's like, she is actually realizing this in real time, bitch. She's about to cash in her damn self. Like, oh, bitch, hold on, wait. Yes, I can cash in. And when she actually starts to make it official that she is going to cash in, you got Nia Jax, bitch, come from out of nowhere like, uh, sis, what are you doing? <laughs> and it may be two shows that Tiffy is maybe a little afraid of Nia, but I think Later on down the line here, she's going to build up her confidence. And either, like I said, it's going to be either her and Nia going head to head because she is going to cash in and get the belt. Or Nia's going to get the belt and Tiffy going to cash in on Nia. Something crazy going to happen. But, bitch, I'm totally here for the segment. I really thought Naomi was going to come out to help Bailey, But it looks as if Naomi was preparing 
for a match between Blair Davenport. And it was a cute match. Okay, and for a minute there, I actually thought Blair Davenport was sincere. After the match, she saw Naomi backstage. I thought that Blair Davenport was sincere when she wanted to shake Naomi's hand, saying that the better woman won. Bitch, why five seconds later she attacked Naomi? You know what? We ain't standing for it. I already told y'all I didn't like Blood Dab and Poor. All the way back in NXT. Boom. Nope. I don't fuck with it. I am glow mob all day. Okay, bitch. We feeling the glow over here. We not feeling the dab and ports, The dabbies. As a result of the Mean Girls, Tiffy Time, and Nia Jax attacking Bailey, Mi Chin comes from out of nowhere, bitch, with a kendo stick in hand, okay, swinging and swatting, okay, at Nia Jax and Tiffy Time. As a result of this, Nia Jax and Mi Chin have a match, okay, the match was cute, but it did give Nia Jax squash, okay, Nia Jax absolutely pulverized Mi Chin. Mi Chin put up a good fight, but it just was not enough. Okay, to defeat your queen of the ring. Okay, and from there, it pretty much gave Michian and Bailey both got their ass beat. They both got jumped, and that's when the thought dawned on Tiffy time. Hmm, I might need to cash in, bitch. Roll it. And then work this match. Some more one drop. She done. Here we go. Oh, my word. It officially became Tiffy time when I climbed up that ladder to the tippy top, grabbed that briefcase, and became the youngest Miss Money in the Bank in WWE history. Oh, they're telling her to cash in. It didn't even register to me, you guys. Oh, my God. It didn't even register to me. Oh, bitch. That was spicy, y'all. We had a couple of backstage shenanigans with Chelsea Green, okay? Everybody was looking for Nick Aldis, but his ass was nowhere to be found. I am posing that Nick Aldis and Adam Pearce have been kidnapped by the YS6, bitch, okay? And Triple H, too, for that matter, okay? Period. And now we got everybody outside of Nick Aldis's office in a line, and it's just like, bitch, where is he? But... Did not L.A. Knight come from walking out of the office talking about he was in there? He just going to need a few more minutes. But yet, Bianca said that he was not there. Hold up. Did L.A. Knight do them contracts himself? Okay, period. Let's just go ahead and talk about it. L.A. Knight really stood on his big ones tonight. Okay, period. He was in the middle of the ring pretty much giving Logan Paul, Paul Logan, bitch, prime. I can kick your ass. And now I have the contracts in hand to kick your ass. That's right, you guys. LA Knight got in the middle of the ring with contracts that were allegedly signed by Nick Aldis. Okay, LA Knight signed the contract in the ring, and now we need uh, Logan's um, signature. And uh, I don't know how we're going to get that. And lastly, before I go, okay, I just had to talk about the trio of Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and Naomi. Yes, they were highlighted tonight. It's great to see that they're kind of keeping this fresh and or keeping this in our, uh, you know, in the back of our heads here because, you know, at any time, these girls can come together and form a Voltron, bitch. Okay, period. I love the camaraderie that they have between each other and like the, yes, girl, black girl magic. Like, you know, do your thing, girl. Boom, boom, boom. Like, you did a good job tonight. Purr, purr. Like, I love that type of energy that they share with each other. Although it could be shady at times. Tonight, the ladies really looked good in their cheetah print, in their leopard print. Okay, bitch, it was some type of cat, bitch. Okay, period. Meow. The girls look really good tonight. Jay Cargill, knock out. Ooh, the girls really look good, bitch. But, bitch, when Bianca said that Nick Aldis won that bitch and how Chelsea and Piper stormed in that office, bitch, I was done. <laughs> I was absolutely done. Overall, the highlights and everything, SmackDown was cute. Okay, bitch. 
Santos and them looking good, bitch. Electra Lopez looking good, bitch. What's next for Andrade? What is next? Who I'd have been down bad in them trench set rap that stick? Who who gave you pills? Who gave that dust? Pluto central.